Hi, today I'll be doing a piano tutorial for Future Bright and Free by Oaks Worship in the recording key of A. If you'd like to check out more tutorials or resources, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out our worship webpage at pursuegod.org slash worship. So to start out this song, um, they've got a really cool intro at the beginning. And, um, and then it goes to, so it starts with this F sharp in the right hand, F sharp, A, B, C sharp. And then when it goes down to the E, it goes to the E um, in the right hand. And then when it goes down to the D in the left hand, it goes to the F sharp again in the right hand. Then it goes down to the B. And then right here it changes and it goes to the G sharp. So that's the only change there at that intro. If, and then um, at some points of the song it repeats that again. Um, and it goes. And then it goes into the chorus or it goes back around for a second time through that intro. So hopefully that makes sense once again. Starting on the F sharp, going down to the E with the right hand, and then when we go down to the D, go back up to the F sharp. One way to think about it that's kind of easy for me to remember is that this F sharp note is going to be in your F sharp minor chord, and your D chord, and your B minor chord. So um, now when you go to the E, you want to accent that, that E in the right hand. Um, and then also, you'll be playing that G sharp as well there. So remember, F sharp, you're going to be playing that, D, that, that, and then the E, or that will help a lot with that intro. Um, now the chorus, um, uh, let me go ahead and play through a little bit of this on the recording and you can hear what's going on. notice that um, it just repeats the same pattern for verse 2. So you're going to be quite busy for verse 1, for verse 2, um, but that's okay. During the choruses, it backs away significantly. Goes to that F sharp minor, to the D, E, I'm sorry, A. That's an E and an A, kind of part of that inversion in the right hand. And then to that E at the end. So that's the chorus. Um, now the interesting part about the bridge is it um, follows this melody line. So that's that um, bridge. Let's go ahead and see um, 
Uh, one thing you can do is you can play that octave in the left hand for the bridge at the beginning. This sounds really good. And then... So all I'm playing there in the right hand is that E, and then I'm following up that uh, melody line with the rest of my hand. Um, and so I'm staying on the E with the thumb, and then um, with the rest of my hand I'm going up and down the melody line there. So, and then you can play both of these notes at the same time, or you can just play that note. Um, and here you can also, Walk that up in the left hand on that octave, um, and then so that's something that I think sounds really good for that bridge. And then when it gets to the softer part, then you just walk it up single notes. So um, it you know, kind of comes back in the bridge, it builds it a little bit more. Um, and that's when you'll bring in, it's kind of like a sandwich at the beginning, it's got those big chords in the left hand, and then it cuts to just the right hand melody, and then it kind of builds in and brings that. Um, it builds that back in again. And notice at the beginning, you can also, walk up that left hand there at that uh, point as well. And then after that, it goes back to the chorus, and you're just back to those big sounding uh, chords. I think it sounds better in kind of the middle C or lower range. Um, let's go ahead and play the rest of the song and uh, just show you a few things that you can do at the end. Let me jump ahead and see if we can get to the end here. <laughs> So uh, don't mess up like I did at the very end there with the, but it's the same as the beginning of the song, so that shouldn't be too difficult. I'm shortening that, but that part right there, that A, and up to the E in the right hand, that's important to hit. end it right there without having to end on that uh, minor chord, uh, if you like. So that's what I recommend for that. Um, in that second chorus that I played for you, the first chorus, which I did not play, um, but you're just basically playing what you were playing earlier in the song, down this lower register. So that's the chorus. And then the second time through, um, I jump up a little bit in the right hand just to elevate the um, dynamic a little bit. And so what I do is I play that A in that C sharp, A in that D in the right hand, A in the C sharp again. And you can even add that E if you want as well.
Those are a few different chords that you could play just to make it sound big. I don't even know if you really need that high E. It might make it sound a little bit too intense at the beginning. Just kind of experiment with that. See what sounds good to you. These are just a few ideas of what I think might work well for this song. Um, but go ahead and try out um, your own stuff. See what works. Take some of this. Integrate it. Take all of it. Whatever helps you out. Um, have a great time playing this song. And we'll see you again next time.